p.m. Eastern. A deal announced yesterday between the White House and the commission investigating the September 11th attacks is proving to be rather controversial. Under the agreement, only certain members of the commission will be allowed to review classified documents from the White House and their notes will be subject to administration review. Today, some relatives of people who were killed in the attacks criticized the agreement. And our next guest, who's a member of the commission, claimed the deal is disgusting. Former Georgia Senator Max Cleland, a Democrat, joins me here in Washington. Senator, thanks so much for joining us. Yes, uh, some of the members of the commission say this is a fair compromise. First of all, what's the deal? What's, what's the notion of this agreement? Well, you've used the word deal three times. I don't think the 9-11 Commission ought to be making deals with our own government under the responsibility we have from the Congress and our responsibility to the American people the to get House all the facts, to get all the facts and let all the commissioners look at those facts. Now, we've had to subpoena the FAA for those documents. We've had to subpoena NORAD for those documents. I'm in favor of subpoenaing the White House for the documents we need so that all the commissioners can get to see all the documents that we need. That's the only way we can face the American people and the families and say we have done a thorough investigation independently of the White House and the entire executive branch. Some of the commissioners, including Richard Benveniste, who's a Democrat, a former Watergate prosecutor, says this is a fair arrangement. Four members of the commission will be able to have access to these classified documents. They'll be able to review them and eventually make some of the information available to the other members of the commission, depending on what the White House says. Second hand. I mean, I'm a member of the commission. The president has said only a minority of the commission can see a minority of the documents and then they have to clear what they're going to say to the rest of the commission with the White House. If you're one of those four that gets to see these documents, would that change your opinion? No, because all the members of the commission are legitimate members of the commission. We have the top security clearances. We're an independent commission for an independent operational look at why 9-11 happened, what happened there, when the pre what the president and the government knew, and when they knew it. What's their, what's their argument, the, the White House? Why won't they let you see this? What do they, they say? Access. They, they don't want any more eyeballs to see their documents than they can possibly get away with. It's a scam. It's absolutely disgusting. This is an independent commission looking at the most serious attack on this homeland since the British invaded this country in the War of 1812. This is important. We cannot do our responsibilities if we don't have all of us access to all the documents we need, including what's in the White House. Now, uh, we've already had to go to the, to, to, to the, to the wall for documents documents with the FAA and NORAD in a subpoena. So why do you I think, think we ought to subpoena the White House documents and get on with this investigation. Why do you think your, your chairman, the former uh, Republican governor of New Jersey, Tom Kane, other members of the commission, apparently a majority, have accepted this arrangement with the White House? It's a deal. We shouldn't be in the business of making deals. We should not be in the business of taking some commissioners and say they get to see some information cleared by the White House and other commissioners don't. And then they got to clear it with the White House to come back to tell those commissioners what that's all about. I, I think this is ludicrous. So what if We're anything, what if anything can you do about it? Well, first of all, I'm very much for uh, issuing a subpoena to, to those in the White House that would obstruct this investigation. And that's what we have here, an obstruction of a full investigation on the most serious attack on the homeland in the last 150 years. B before I let you go, let me shift gears for a moment. Uh, what's happening in Iraq right now? You wrote a provocative piece the other day suggesting there were parallels to Vietnam, a subject you know all too well. What's your main fear right now? Well, we're in a mess. And we have no strategy to win, and we have no strategy to get out. That's Vietnam all over again. And we're losing more casualties now, just in the last week, than in any period since Vietnam. We've extended the tour of duty of guardsmen and reservists, and th that's going to take a tremendous toll on our communities. They ought to be at home looking after homeland security so issues. what do you we're want, just to pick up and leave? No, we, well, we've got to get the UN in and get NATO in.